Everybody and welcome to Adobe Live here on Behance. And I am joined today by Iga. Hello, Iga, welcome. Hey, hello. Hello. Oh, do you know, you have joined uh, an amazing community and a really fun stream today. Um, it's, it's the sun, well, the sun is shining here in the UK. And um, I don't know if anybody had a lovely weekend getting out and about in your gardens. I know that there's lots of people that have been out updating pictures of gardens and uh, flowers and bits and bobs. We've all caught the sun. Um, and I also wanted to say, as we start the stream, actually, that a um, big round of applause to everybody that's participating in the 36 Days of Type, as I've seen so many examples across Discord, across Instagram. Um, it's so good to see all of your work. We have such a talented community. So really want to start there. And speaking of a uh, talented community, Iga is here today. Iga, I have looked at your work on Instagram today. Um, you know, Iga, you're an illustrator, you're an art director, and you are amazing at portraits. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Blown away. I mean, honestly. So um, what kind of things are we going to show today, Iga, on the stream? Uh, yeah, so, well, apart from talking about, I guess, many stuff, I think I, I, I will um, be painting a portrait. Like, I will just start over. I mean, I can show you... Um, well, uh, in general, the process of my illustration uh, as well, as I have, uh, you know, like the whole PSD file with all the steps. So I can show you that. Uh, nice. And then I can do, yeah, live demo with just painting from scratch so you can see uh, how, how how it goes. Because like portraits mm -hmm. are a little bit faster thing to do, like the whole complex illustration. So I think we can just, you know, yeah. uh, have both of that. It would be so good to see your process. And Stuart's already mentioned in the chat today that your work is mind-blowingly good. Thank you. Thank you. Really? I'm glad. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm, I'm super, super glad. Excited. Well, you are honestly, you, you're in a good place. You know, everybody put the kettle on, put your feet up, because this is really going to rock your world. Um, as I said, you know, we've seen some of Iga's work. We're going to look at it in a moment. Um, hello to everybody in the chat. I can see so many people. Hey, Julia. Hey, Emma. Stuart's in there. Sandrine's in there. Jackie's here as well. Gareth's here. Uh, so, so many people have joined us already today. So, it's really great to see you. If you have any questions for Iga today, make sure you, you know, you join in the chat. So, we're chatting in Behance. So, behance.net forward slash Adobe Live. And if you're watching on YouTube, come over to Behance if you have any questions and I'll make sure that they get asked through the live stream. Okay, I don't see the chat, so I rely on you. Oh, <laughs> totally you. fine. No, all good. Yeah, all good with me. No problem. So, um, yeah, so please um, give us an introduction. You know, um, we've not met before, so tell us a little bit about who you are, what, what you do, what your passions are. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so I'm an illustrator, well, painter, both uh, digital and traditional. So basically, I've been painting since a kid. Uh, it's been always my hobby, uh, but uh, only like, yeah, during the studies, I think I really thought it's going to be something I want to do uh, in as, as a job, as an artist, because I actually uh, always uh, thought, like, how how can I combine my, like, uh, hobby of drawing and painting, but with the job as well? And first, I thought, like, yeah, I can be an architect, uh, for example. So this, is, this was what I wanted to do, you know, for a long time in school, but then... Uh, because I played uh, so many computer games, uh, then I saw that, okay, it, the, the, there are those words, you know, like there are those characters and somebody had to, you know, create them. And because of that, because like I saw like all these fantasy armors, you know, different races in games, like uh, I thought like, yeah, maybe this is something maybe I could also try. And so then I switched my, you know, like, um, direction completely to painting, like illustration, concept art, and um, yeah, this is this is where, where I am now. Like after a couple of years, uh, you know, being in the industry, I now work uh, uh, as a freelancer. Uh, but also, I 
I am art director uh, in the Twin Drum Studio, working on the Wagadu Chronicles project. And I, I don't know. I think I, I couldn't be in the better place uh, right now because it's just something I, I love to do. Completely, your work is amazing. I mean, just the you capture so much in these. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm blown away. Um, thank you, thank you. Really great. And do you have any, you know, anything that would be, you know, something that you're most proud of? I mean, all of this is amazing. Um, is there oh. one that you always go to to show people? I think, yeah, this one bit. Uh, yeah, like the my, I think my most like, uh, like well. To me, uh, might be the most iconic pig because I think many people would disagree uh, and say this is my most iconic pig because it was, I think, the most popular on on on, on Twitter. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh but I think this one is like the, the my most personal uh, piece because, wow. uh, yeah, it's about like uh, bonding of the culture, and for me, it's super personal because I'm super interested in like many different cultures uh, in the world. And I like love exploring, you know, uh, people, uh, ethnic groups, like their costumes, cultures. So, so yeah. The, yeah. The jewelry and everything. I've seen some of your Instagram posts. Um, you spent a lot of time in Masai Mara, right? With the Masai Mara. Uh, well, not a lot of time. Uh, yeah, well, uh, just a week. <laughs> so it's not like a lot of time, but yes, yes. Uh, we visited uh, Masai. I have uh, pictures. Um, there so so yeah we went to Kenya last year uh, right before everything uh, with pandemic started so I think mm. we went like you know as the last chance chance to uh, visit and yeah. Uh, yeah like it 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 was amazing experience to meet uh, Maasai people like actually feel for a moment at least uh, feel uh, how it is, you know, living in the village, like herding cows, because we 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 actually spent like a day herding uh, cows. Uh, of course, it, like you cannot you cannot exactly know how it is because it's just a couple of days, and you know the situation is really different. But uh, it was really amazing experience just 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 to just to meet uh, these people, mm. and, you know, see also the environment they live in, the activities like. Uh, beating and stuff yeah here i was just uh sketching them because whenever i go i just need to have my sketchbook and you know uh paint i yeah. love that absolutely and julia says in the chat holy moly that's awesome what a dream to draw them yes oh, wow. yes this was amazing like I, we had like one day when i could really sit uh you know with uh with them and i was just sketching portraits like um wow. you know one after another like i could do a couple of portraits this is for example the elder of the village, uh, so he was sitting for me, posing, I, and I could just, you know, sketch from life. It was, it was really amazing. These drawings are amazing. I mean, how long did that take? This oh, one, yeah. uh, I don't know, like twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Oh I'm my god! Get to sit there. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. so yeah, th this is colored, so so you know, a bit longer, but there were also yeah, like just just uh, sketches, uh, you know, quicker sketches. So not sure how long that takes but five ten yeah something like that wow so. you're very good at what you do and you can see then that you know this has really influenced a lot of the the drawings and things that you have um that you started to show us at the beginning you can see that coming through and then um, with the image that you showed us the the, the sisterhood um it's such a powerful image and um, how long did something like that take to create um how long okay it's always hard to tell because it's never one sitting um you know so i would usually do a couple of sessions it, it really depends on the day because i can you know like take two hours a day after work or like you know or just focus and do it you know a couple of hours one day and a couple of hours the other so i cannot tell exactly but i would say like a yeah, couple of days uh of work yeah, but I, I can never tell. Like I can only tell how much something takes if I record it and then I put all the stuff together. But it's also not um, exactly, you know, uh, how long it takes because you don't count the breaks, uh, you know, yeah. like you don't count the um, thinking. Uh, because, for example, even if I record something, I would cut out the parts when I 
you know, like don't do anything. But actually behind the scenes, there is a lot of process involved, which is just happening in my head, you know, so because you need to like think and like, yeah, should I should I do something or you look for the references as well. You also don't show that. So usually the process is, you know, like way longer than than what you can actually see even uh, on the recording. Mm. So uh, but yeah, like uh, if 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 you are curious about some other stuff. So for example, this, if it's just like a photo uh, study, you know, like, so I have like a ready picture to draw from, it will always be faster uh, because you don't have to invent that much stuff, uh, you know? So the lighting is there, uh, for example, everything is like ready for you. Mm -hmm. So that, for example, can be two hours, uh, let's say, uh, or or even one hour for, for, for some stuff I think. I had like this one, for example, can take one hour. But again, this is this is like based on the photograph, which is a bit different than uh, like a piece, let's say like this, when you have like, you know, so many different characters like this, for example, took uh, when I counted for all, like all the sessions, more or less, less it's like 50 hours or more, you know, Wow. Right, so so. Uh, this took me like two two months or like one or two months, uh, but of course not like every day eight hour uh, work. But you know, like in the process, right. it takes time basically. It's so good. I mean, that honestly looks like a Disney movie right there. Like you're in, uh, you know, like Beauty and the Beast in in the you know the pub that they go into with Gaston and they, you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm uh, if anyone's with me on this. But it, honestly, I may. I mean, I'm honestly blown away. Thank you. Um, <laughs> That's so good, honestly. And um, so, yeah, so, so let's get into, you know, your process. I know that you've got um, some bits that you can show us about how you get started and, and the different stages in your process about how you... Uh, yeah, so maybe let's jump into this one because it was like a, a thing, image on this on the stream. So maybe people would be interested in that. Uh, so I have different workflows. So it's not like I do... Um, I do it always uh, this way. But for example, this one, like as you can see, it started with a very, very um, rough uh, sketch. It's like just to nail uh, the idea. So here, um, the character is like sketch out yeah, very roughly. But for example, the background is just uh, like a mashup of photographs, uh, you know. And but I, I, I cannot say I do it every time. Sometimes, uh, well, I think I have some more processes uh, here, for example, sometimes I can just start uh, with the, you know, plain sketch and just uh, go uh, from there. Same, same like are here. You, are you sketching in your uh, your book that you showed us um, when you, you were traveling or do you sketch on your iPad and what do you, where do you um, begin? No. So when I sketch digitally, I would sketch already in the program because it's, yeah. for me, it's easier to quick uh, uh, tweak stuff you know so mm -hmm. if I see like proportions are off it's just way easier to like cut out the part and make it bigger uh, for example or like flip and check proportions it's like yeah way faster yeah um, so so yeah for digital I would just sketch straight in the program but uh, but yeah if it's like traditional like of course you do everything traditionally and I work with watercolor and wash uh, then for all the traditional stuff like I have can show you for example here the figure drawing so so yeah this 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 then is all traditional and and traditional takes uh, way faster for me like in terms of these uh, these illustrations these are for example done uh, a drink and draw Berlin uh, from from life so so there is a life model posing for you as well so the poses takes up to, up to one hour, but sometimes it's like fifteen minutes. So it really depends. Wow. So. Amazing. And then, are you drawing in something like Adobe Fresco, or are you on Procreate, or what's your Photoshop? Do? So oh, okay. yeah, my my main uh, software is Photoshop, and um, yeah, I, I I used to like I tried, for example, Procreate. But um, there's one thing uh, in uh, Photoshop that for me is something I cannot get without, which is this shortcut. <laughs> like something, um, because the way I work is like I always uh, need to choose new colors on the go, you know, and I don't have time to go, you know, to pick the color 
in the uh, window and then uh, check it. So so that this is this is what I do, and it allows me to like you know tweak a lot of the um, hues and 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 yeah colors. Wow. On the go. And, and do you create a lot of swatches then? Um, if you're going to do some images along the same kind of theme, or would you start from scratch no, every time? No, I no, I don't work with swatches at all. Like all the swatches oh. that I well, swatches uh, I have in my references. So for, so for example, here, uh, if uh, yeah, I want to do the portrait, I know this is my color palette and mm. I would just use, uh, you know, these references as, uh, you know, as an example of colors I, I, want, I want to do. So, so yeah, I, I cannot work with swatches because like the color is so relative that for example, what you see on the swatch, uh, I don't know even where the swatches, uh, swatches yeah what you can see here might completely not relate to what you have on your canvas because uh this color might look like uh you know like this next to the white but for example to next to green it it it, it will look different uh like yeah just about the relation uh yeah of the color and um People are asking in the in the chat. Uh, so, what's the shortcut? Do you know, how do you get to that color yes. picker so quickly? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so this is Alt, Shift, and right click. Okay. And uh, if you want to change the hue, then you hold space. So wait, 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 wait. A lot of people are saying that they've not seen this before. So this is yes, weird. yes. I'm surprised. Like uh, I'm. Yeah, I know it's not super uh, popular, but this is something I cannot live without. So that's yeah. that, that's the thing. Like I would usually mention that, uh, yeah, super useful. Like this, and uh, the other one is holding out. You can change the uh, size of the brush, and then if you have, for example, soft brush, you can also change the softness if you go up and mm -hmm. down. So you can go left and right for the size, and up and down for the softness. These are great shortcuts, really good. And I've got to ask you which brush you're using as well. That's the next thing. <laughs> Everyone uh, wants to know. So I have, um, because I I have already my like um, favorite uh, brush set, but these are coming from many different sets. So these are not default ones. Uh, so wait, I even have, oh, I don't know if I can find it. Well, okay, never mind. but. Uh, like I, for example, I have like this uh, this color for 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 sketching uh, color the brush for for sketching with which is like more textured. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, for example, I have another brush uh, for, um, for 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 coloring for skin especially because like it's like a little bit grainy. So so you know this is uh, what I like to use for for rendering the skin, for example. But then. Uh, what else? Like I can have like more textured brushes as well, just for some effects, maybe yeah. the background or for the hair. Uh, yeah, for yeah. Like painting uh, dreadlocks, for example, because I like <laughs> paint them. Uh, you know, like you can yeah. use more textured uh, yeah. stuff. And I think some people are putting in the chat just some of the shortcuts, and I'm sure that there'll be a lot of people watching this stream back on YouTube today to to capture these shortcuts again if they've missed them because. Um, you know, these are really quick shortcuts. I, I've never seen them. Uh, I can, floating I can maybe type them here. So it's Alt, Shift, plus, it's like right click, and that depends. Uh... Amazing. Yeah, that's. Thank you. I think Tim's going to put them in the chat um, for mm -hmm. us. Thanks, Tim. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, I can maybe start completely from scratch. Uh, yeah, but please, uh, yeah, ask questions because <laughs> um, mm. it's so good. So, so, so um, what are you what are you going to create here? Then is this going to be a portrait? Yes. Uh, so I like last year uh, when it was still autumn, uh, I went on the walk and I really like. I don't know why, but I I just love the texture of leaves on the ground, especially, uh, you know, like dried leaves, which are still a little bit wet, uh, for example. So they are reflecting, you know, different colors from the sky. So I took this picture and I, I knew I wanted to do something with it. <laughs> uh, so so then I thought, OK, um, I'm also like interested in the cultures, but 
I can also create something for the Wagadu Chronicles project I'm working for. Because this is um, this is the thing. Like if when I don't know what to work on, I can always like go back to the universe we are working uh, on. So you know, like whatever I create, I can like kind of try to match it. You know, so for mm -hmm. example, okay, it's gonna be portrait, but actually I can do it uh, like uh, as a character from our game already because why not <laughs> you know so yeah. i thought like i can draw daima which is like a lineage um lineage in wagadu that is uh, that comes from the moth ancestors so they have like a moth wings i mean in the portrait you won't even see the moths but I cl at least we can add the antennas you know so, so and then they they are inspired by uh uh by Omo uh, Valley ethnic groups. So here, for example, we have Suri uh, ethnic groups, Suri people, and they um, they they have this like decoration, like hat pieces made out of uh, leaves. So I thought I can actually, you know, combine these uh, two. So 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 the photo I took on my bike trip, and then uh, take these references for the the skin uh, skin tones and the uh, proportions on the face. And then this for like just general inspiration. So basically I like to work from many different references. Like here, this is yeah. not a lot, but, uh, but I like to have as many different references for different, uh, you know, parts of the image as possible because yeah, like the more visual information you can have, the better basically but i'm not talking about the copying itself because you can copy but then it's more like a study but if you want yeah. to create like um you know your new piece your personal piece then then it's quite crucial to actually combine different uh, you know pieces of reference to create something entirely new yeah so that's what i thought i can do <laughs> so sounds good yeah you're pulling from a lot of different places though and that's um it just makes it completely unique. So, this is. Yeah, I hope so. We, we, we will see even what I can, uh, you know, do within this time frame. But, yeah. Yeah, and, and don't feel pressured to, to finish something within the hour, right? Because obviously yeah. I'm asking you a million questions as you're going as well. And, um, you know, but again, you know, it's, it's so good to share your process because there's so many of us that are working on different projects, using different things. And, and actually a lot of us are self-taught. And so um, mm. any any tips to pick up along the way, shortcuts, things that can make us work faster. Yeah, I will, I will try as, uh, yeah, as many as many as possible. But yeah, please, please, please do uh, ask questions. Oh, wow. So um, you mentioned, you know, you were drawing from a really young age. Did you study this at university then? Or was this clearly a hobby that turned into a career? So, yeah, it, it was a hobby. Uh, but then I went to uh, university for, well, first graphic design, uh, but then I switched to printmaking. So it, it wasn't really... Uh, oh no! You see, I'm drawing on the same layer. Shit! <laughs> this is this is something I I, I I I usually hate. So remember to to do the separate layer for for the sketch. It happens to me a lot that I forget. Uh, I'm distracting you. I mean, I even did the separate, but then I still switched to the background. So, well, I mean, it, it I could technically paint it all on one layer as well, but. I just prefer to have the sketch on the separate. But yeah, um, I uh, yeah I went to um, university for um, as I said, graphic design and printmaking, which was a bit related. I, I mean, of course, it was related with art, but it wasn't entirely related uh, with what I wanted to do, uh, which was concept art for games and illustration. There was illustration, but um, but yeah, I maybe I had two subjects that really, really helped me uh, with this direction. So one was like multimedia we, where we could uh, learn more of the program. So yeah, like Photoshop, uh, even some, you know, like After Effects uh, and stuff. Uh, so so that was helpful. And of course, painting and drawing from, uh, you know, life model, that was extremely helpful. But there were a lot of things that were a bit related, but not so much. So I still had to learn a lot on my own like i yeah i think the most important is like just study it on your own uh you know with so many different resources that we have nowadays like youtube 
uh, some online courses, I think you really don't even need to go to university. And sometimes maybe you even shouldn't if it's like very expensive one that you will just, you know, yeah. spend so much money and so much time, you know, uh, on it. Yeah. It does take some time, doesn't it? And you can see this is taking shape so quickly. You've only been drawing for about four minutes and already it's honestly it's so good. And so um so as you mentioned, you know, that this is a hobby and that you you got into this. I, I think, you know, it, it's really good to have a hobby because it takes you away from your everyday uh, life. And of course, when your hobby becomes your 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 passion and your work, um, I guess you need to find some new hobbies as well, right? To kind of separate things up a bit. And I have seen in your Instagram that you love macrame. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I mean, this is uh, as I mentioned to you before uh, before the stream is very very fresh uh, thing um, yeah. because um, last year, end of last year, I actually um, was dealing with a serious burnout. Uh, so I like I really wanted to paint, but at the same time I couldn't. I just I just felt yeah. like I over. Don't ever did myself, you know, like overworked uh, myself to the point that I just couldn't really paint anymore. Like I just didn't have energy for for, for that, and yeah. I just had to take a break. Uh, and I was looking into some other activities which isn't related to art because <laughs> my whole life was actually mostly about art and travels. Mm -hmm. um, but since we, uh, since we couldn't, we travel. Mm. couldn't travel, then yes, then I had to actually come up with something completely different, like which, which cannot, which can be done from home, but isn't about painting. So, so yeah, macaroni was, uh, was like a way to escape a little bit, you know, just, just try something completely different. Uh, I, yeah, maybe since, since we talk about it, I, I can just show what is what is actually macrame. So so those are the, you know the the yes, courts that you can uh, yeah like you not you not yeah you not braid you not them uh, together uh, just to create some wall decorations or even clothing. And since I'm quite interested in uh, you know fashion like alternative fashion, like I thought I can just combine uh, these two to create like even a home decor like some. Yeah. Uh, stuff for uh, you know, like plant hangers. Just so good, and they're so trendy at the moment. I've said it; they're so popular. Every you can find these in any shop at the moment. Um, Jackie in yeah. the chat says, uh, "You know, love knots." Um, totally agree, and it's also it's very creative as well, right? So you're a very creative person, Ika. So you know, <laughs> Thank you, you. I wouldn't consider myself. Uh, oh, totally. Uh, no, yeah. it, you're finding different ways. You know. Um, get that creativity out you've got a lot of it there right so thank you so, thank you uh no it is good and um yeah everybody i think julia's put in the chat Ega has a store on her website as well um i do, I do but it's it's closed at the moment uh, because oh. um i mean i will reopen uh, soon uh, but the thing is that because i'm moving uh, I had to deal with all the paperwork and like change the company, you know, create a new one. So mm -hmm. I'm actually in the in the process of setting up, you know, new stuff with like boring stuff, like boring freelancer stuff, like uh, you yeah. know, invoicing and and blah blah. Mm -hmm. So I have to, uh, yeah, have it closed at the moment. But very soon, yeah, I I I'm gonna reopen it and like, yeah, do the um, print, uh, yeah, everything like you have. Yeah, like some tutorials. I have the original paintings, but yeah, just not, not at the moment. <laughs> because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, all good. This is taking shape. Look at this already. So good, so good. So, um, so earlier on, then you mentioned um, that you were an art director as well as an illustrator. So, um, what does the process go on on approving these characters? Because obviously, you're putting a lot of work into these characters is there a lot of reviews a lot of back and forth or really is it all down to the brief where you say you know like you've got on the left hand side there you know this is my inspiration this is the character that I'm going to create in this in this chronicle um you know and then it's is it approved I mean do you find that there's a little back and forth with the approval of your work well um so it is a bit different process because actually the the those characters that you see here uh you know like all the illustration work is yeah. more of my um well 
personal slash for the project, but it's um, I don't have any reviews for that because I yeah. I just do it, yeah. <laughs> you know. So uh, so so there is no review for that. But what I'm art directing is actually um, stuff for for video game, and there we have uh, already like a different um, stuff I can show you. Um, yeah, on the Gadu Krenkel um, Kickstarter, you can actually check what's going on uh, with the project. And for example, uh, we we're just we're just creating, you know, the whole uh, new world. And this is more of the stuff that requires uh, feedback. So um, the the whole world is um, con consistent, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. for example, like if I'm working on the concept art, then we have 3D artists who would transfer it into a 3D model. And, uh, and yeah, this is where the feedbacks needs to go in. Uh, if, you know, like if the shapes are working well, if the colors are uh, the ones that will match the rest of the world, for example, if it matches the general idea uh, of the, um, you know, vi vi the whole visual idea of the project so yeah. that's uh that's that's mostly when the uh, feedback goes in and and yeah this is basically my job to uh create concept and then guiding uh you know artists to um to create yeah uh, the actual game uh yeah in the engine that is such a cool job that is very it cool. Is, and, yeah. <laughs> and Steve says, this is some amazing stuff. Angus is the you know, same, great stuff. Um, Julia says, what's the Kickstarter project? Uh, well, the Kickstarter, so um, you mean the Wakadu Chronicles in general or Kickstarter that, uh, ooh, what happened? No. I think we can go away yeah, without logging. So yeah, so we, we had um, a campaign uh, to fund uh, the project actually. So even though we have a uh, support from Riot, uh, for example, we still uh, did a Kickstarter campaign to just, you know, fund uh, the development of the, the, the project. And uh, yeah, you can uh, you can basically visit. Uh, oh, I don't know if you hear the anything. Probably not. Can't hear anything now. But that's that's you that's fine. It. Like you can also visit uh, and watch. So this is like pre 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 uh, alpha, <laughs> which uh, we created just you know to get uh, to get the funds. So actually, we are reworking uh, the world completely, as you could see there in the updates. Um, but wow. but yeah, this is uh, basically the uh, whole new universe based uh, on African uh, mythology. And actually, if you're interested, you can download the. A book because we created the book uh, as well, which is like a whole lore book with uh, you know um, five e uh, based on five e dungeons and dragons systems, which you can already uh, play. And here is like a whole introduction uh, to the Wagadu world, so you can just you know uh, read it like about the world, about the lineages. So yeah, there's a lot of art uh, already in there for me, but also from the other. Uh, artists so so yeah if you're interested in that I just would highly recommend you know uh, look into the book because it's just free uh, you know you can just take a look and this is amazing I my mind is blown I honestly it's the first time I've um, had insight into how you would you know to build concept for things like this like like a game right and you're showing them the different types of trees that must be there and how they're built and um, I'm really I'm just so impressed um, and I can see from the chat that everybody else is equally as impressed. You know, um, Andrea says, wow, you're so talented, Iga. <laughs> Julia's just, wow, you know. Um, this is amazing, honestly, amazing. Um, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, thank you so much. I mean, there's a lot of <laughs> going on. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm super happy of everything Like, I can work at the moment so yeah the, this this thing but also like projects uh beside uh you know uh that that would actually the freelance um gives me like this this freedom to also work on, on on different stuff so not only focusing on one project but for example uh recently yeah. i could start also uh work from my like dream dream uh 
a studio from my dream dream project, which is Magic the Gathering, which I'm like super, super happy. Like I couldn't show you anything of that yet, but yeah. probably not from for Fair the enough. next year. Uh, yeah. But uh but yeah, yeah. It's it's so good of, to see. Going on. And you're doing what you love, right? And um, we've got an amazing um, graphic designer that comes on to our, our Adobe live streams um, very regularly called um, Veronica. And um, she gave us some tips for portfolios, um, I think it was last year, in that um, you should always showcase the work that you really enjoy doing so that yes. you get to be hired for that and do and continue doing what you love. And so, you know, you can see from all of your personal projects and all of the, you know, the images that you share. Um, yeah, you're doing I would that. so agree. I would so yes, agree yeah. with that. Like, just that. That's why I think it's super important to work on your uh, personal work as well. If you don't work yet uh, on the stuff that you really want to do, it's really important to just, you know, work on the stuff that you want to do, even even if it's not for any uh, job for any studio, and you just put it in your portfolio, and eventually you will get hired. Uh, for that because if you work only on the stuff that for example you're in the studio but you don't really enjoy um, the stuff that you're doing there but you put mm. it into your portfolio then people will hire you for for that you know because they don't see any other yeah potential work that you could do that's why for example like um for a couple of years i was working uh for wuga uh and i have it I have it uh, here, for example, but this is just a tiny, tiny piece of my uh, portfolio. Like I was doing the characters for uh, for the game, which is set in like 1920s. And I love this stuff. And I like, you know, I was working on it every day. Uh, so there's like a lot, a lot of it. Uh, whoops. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, so, but, but, you know, if I put only this stuff in my portfolio, like, you know, like all the tiles are only those, uh, characters, then, then I would get hired probably for that, you know, to do, but yeah. I actually didn't want to, to have it as my main thing in the portfolio. Yeah. That's why I was doing everything around that, which is, you know, different, <laughs> a bit different. Also illustration, like also characters, but different setting. Uh, okay. so, so. So you're really positioning what you love to do then and making sure that yes. the other work is great, but just not so prominent in the... In the exactly, exactly. Yeah, so you know, right. like you can do, for example, this stuff, but basically what you want to work on goes on the top, you know? Yes. So like, yeah. this is this is, this is is what I do, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. If you want to hire me, this is what I can offer you, basically. Perfect. So. Good. Yeah, in the chat, Kirsty's saying, wow, epic. Julia's saying, wonderful. Thank and you. Gareth says Cluedo. I agree. It did look like characters from a Cluedo game. Do you have Cluedo in Germany? I'm sure it must be a global game. Cluedo. Cluedo. It's like a murder mystery. You've got to work out who, you know, Mrs. White in the kitchen with the candlestick. Oh, um, I don't know it. Sorry. It no. is a very epic game. I do it, love it. I know. I don't know it. Uh, so cannot, cannot, cannot tell. No, it's all good. And the characters are very similar. But, um, this is so good. I mean, oh, honestly. Any questions for Eager today, please get them in the chat. We've only got about 23 minutes left. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can do anything with even my, <laughs> uh, that, I, that I planned, but uh, that's, that's no. fine. That I can like finish later and, you know, post it and yeah, but. <laughs> Julia says, uh, we pronounce it Cluido. And Tim says it was Madame Maddie with the paintbrush in the library. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, very good. Very good. Love it. Oh, so, um, Iga, please give us some, um, some tips, really, for people that are looking to get into you know, this type of gaming, this, this, you know, this joy for concept. You know, how, how would you say is the best way to get into this type of art? Well, definitely work on this stuff that you that you want to do. So, for example, if you have uh, like a studio that you really want to uh, work for, just focus on doing stuff that will match it. You know, like, mm, well, at first focus or like think about what is what you like to do. And then, you know, just do it. <laughs> it's the worst advice. <laughs> you can give, but 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 seriously, it's simple simple as that. Um, because every type of stuff that you do can actually get you a job if you get expertise in that. 
you know. So there's no feel that no, I won't get job with that because if you get really good in this particular like niche, for example, you will get a job. But, but yeah. it just takes time to you know to develop a skill to to uh, to be really good at it. Mm. Uh, but but there's really no better advice like to get into industry to just you know work work on this stuff like see for example if if there's a studio and um you know you like watch the other artists that are working for the studio and what they have in their portfolio uh for example maybe maybe look into their process like for example in the past like you you can often uh see artists and like even in on instagram like scroll scroll down when they started and you can mm. see how they uh, were watched. For example, like I mean, I don't want to always <laughs> give myself as an example because it's not about that. But the, basically, many many artists. Like if you really, you know, like scroll down, you can actually reach a couple of years back, and and just analyze, for example, what what they did to get uh, that job. You know, what kind of studies they did. Maybe, but it doesn't need to work for you necessarily because, for example you might think you want to work for the studio but maybe by what you're doing it's actually something else um because yeah. for me uh i always thought like yeah i want to work for disney and dreamworks <laughs> but actually uh the stuff i was doing didn't really match it you know i was i was working more in like a realistic type of you know portraits illustration but yeah it didn't really apply to visual development that you have in you know in disney or animation the industry in general so mm. so i actually like thought like okay maybe this is something what i like I, for example i was doing like studies uh you know from 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 movie frames mm. you know still frames uh but 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 still like something i was focusing more was more like realistic or semi-realistic characters yeah. so 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 i thought like okay maybe it's just not for me and you know and think what what studios or what you know uh projects uh maybe will match what you actually like and then then you know like you just continue uh working on those portraits or those illustrations uh yeah searching for artists that do the same what yeah how they do it maybe what is their process like you know what studies uh and yeah, yeah just 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 work 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 like there's really <laughs> uh but you be can... careful not to burn yourself out because that's the that's yes the no, that is such a good tip though yeah. yeah it's very easy to do that isn't it and um and gareth has asked a question um how much life drawing have you done to get to this level ah uh, so i was actually doing quite a lot of life drawing yeah as you as you can see here like basically i i would go once 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 every week for a light drawing that we had at wuga for example like drawing portraits but i also don't want to say like you have to do it all the time like i think it's good to mix many different uh things so not yeah. only focusing for example not only doing uh light drawing but also like applying it to your illustration later like like um also learn some anatomy on the side to actually apply it to the fast figure drawing because if you only will do like two or three minute sketches it also doesn't mean you will get good at drawing figure because you don't have enough time to actually analyze you know the figure in depth uh, so i would say yeah. like what was driving me like by the way now we scrolled back for like uh what it was like four years ago <laughs> for example you can see like what i was doing four years ago when i when i just uh you know started at wuga for example in in the other studio so so what i was saying like just you know be curious about different stuff in like work on stuff that you're interested in you know yeah. if you yeah. don't like backgrounds just backgrounds like like maybe don't do them and focus on characters like for, for me i was just hungry for many many different things to try out so like mm. uh sketching you know environments from life like doing planners but also doing uh figure studies uh 
illustrations like still framed movies like just mm. as many <laughs> as I could I, I just get involved just try yeah yeah what works just right and uh, Andrea had a question saying who are your mentors um or do you have like a list of artists that you admire uh so yes I had this I will wait 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 I would just go because I actually had the post uh exactly on this topic for people who, 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 who really inspired me on the way. Well, that's good. Yes. Perhaps we could pop it in the chat for everybody so that we can have it, we can click into this. Just... So, uh, yeah, we, we, we can see, like, for example, Loi, I think it's a super, super uh, basic example for many, many people. I mean, she's so, uh, you know, such a big artist that probably everyone already reached uh, her but yeah she influenced uh, my uh, work partially uh, for sure so for example like a couple of years back I don't know when was that like 10 years ago <laughs> no maybe not 10 years I know uh, but 2014 I think I even tried you know myself working in, in this style but then um, yeah for example in at Wuga I met Daniela uh, which was a main character artist for for this June's journey game I was working on and she was my main mentor uh, I would say uh, so I learned a ton because while working on the project I actually had to adjust to the style uh, that she was uh, working in already mm -hmm. so so I could actually watch how she paint those characters so so I would say She's one of my main, main uh, influences. Like wanting yes. it or not, I just, <laughs> I mean, one thing, but, but even if I didn't uh, want to work in this style, I, I like, I had to adjust to it, you know, just yeah. to do it for the project. But uh, yeah. I think I benefit, benefited, you know, uh, a lot from, yeah. from, from, from this collaboration. But in general, like inspiration, I find in the internet, by the way, I'm not, I think I'm not going to find much uh, at all, but never no, mind. Right. No, it's all good. And then one last question on this is that, are there any books that you would recommend uh, for people to get into drawing like this? Yes. Uh, well, there are many. <laughs> I mean, for example, uh, for, for pure inspiration, I, I, I really love all the, the art of the movies, for example, like all the Disney um, mm -hmm. uh, works, um, the Disney movies like the art of for example Moana so 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 you could you could really see the whole uh visual development so but that's for the inspiration like it really it really works for me but if you want to uh learn learn so for example color and light by Jam James Gurney it's 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 so good <laughs> for, for for the color I, I would recommend for example this one because this is where I actually learned many different um, light situation or like color theory uh, yeah to understand how this works good. so good this job. is like one of the bibles uh, what else I mean I don't have all, uh, all the books here but for example composition is like framed perspective is really it's really uh, oh, no no not frames uh, frame perspectives really it's really good for the composition uh, in general uh, it's not that I have so uh, many works that <laughs> require uh, complicated background and composition but but I think this one is uh, really good oh, Jesus it's hard to come up with like example on the go but yeah, that's no, that's good. I just wrote that last one down. That's really good perspectives because I struggle to do anything other than straight head on. So, really, there are many there are really many uh, books. But yeah, I think I think I need to come up with like a uh, my list of recommended books. Uh, but mm -hmm. if you give me maybe a topic, then I can uh, come up. But but in general, like yeah, yeah, I, I I would say for example, if you play a game and then you're interested in uh you know how the world was created there for example i know yeah. this this honor to is like my favorite art book uh because uh yeah it just it's just just oh, so wow. good so for example i have uh this one is, but but it's mostly for inspiration but mm. you know like if you mm -hmm. if you look at the works in there uh, not only in the books like you can just you know find stuff on instagram or station behance whatever like everywhere uh, you can also 
analyze you know the works and apply it to your own uh, studies because for example i bring up this topic of uh, piotr jabonski because um i like took inspiration uh for this for this color scheme like th- th- yeah. that was actually was my main um reference for general like value structure you know like the desaturated colors i just i i was just having this uh you know you uh, on the think. side and even if yeah. it's completely different you know thing you can still get some kind of like some tones the value structure uh you know from other work yeah. but it doesn't mean copying uh Love it, it. At all, yeah right? it just inspires you yeah and brings in the yeah you, you can completely see how it can uh, you know have an effect on your work and um, angus has mentioned that lou romano's uh, color script um storyboard blocks of color for up is excellent oh up that disney movie that makes me cry which one wait wait it's the one with the old man and the balloons oh uh, no the up. yeah yes Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So the oh, art book for that one as well. Yeah, I mean, mm. there's so many. <laughs> it's like even hard to with, with just there you know, are. Uh, like Tangled. I remember art book uh, from Tangled. Uh, yeah, like too many. So too, too. No. And then I'm keen to ask you, um, Igor, you know, how do you collaborate with people when you're, obviously you're doing multiple reviews, you're making sure that your concepts are being brought to life with the 3D artists. Um, how do you collaborate? Do you use a tool to, to write all of your feedback into? Are you using, I don't ah. know, a smart sheet? Uh, are, you, are you collaborating through PDF? I mean, how do you do it? Oh, we do everything on Slack, actually, because okay. th- that's with, with our team. So so yeah. with team, we are very close so that we can, you know, do on Slack or Google, Google a Hangout. So it's just oh. exchanging, you know, the works, um, not writing elaborated emails. Uh, but yeah. just, you know, like having constant um, contact, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So you can even like, if you want to give like a quick feedback with, you know, overpaint, uh, you can just call and explain, uh, you know, uh, what do you mean? Or just just write written feedback. Like you, I would usually take the uh, work and do overpaint, you know, Photoshop, like a screenshot it and send with some notes, uh, for example. But for example, for for other uh, artists, because like we we actually want to expand a little bit and work with more freelancers, then yeah. then we just do emails. Um, yeah, we like communicate entirely by email. Um, and then if you need more, uh, you know, like either introduction or like even getting to know this person, then then you do uh, same Google Hangout call, and right. and that's. And that's it. I, I, I don't use any um, software uh, additional. Like in the studio at Wuga, uh, we actually had Basecamp, which was like a dedicated software for working with outsourcers, outsource uh, companies. But yeah. I think that's uh, yeah, that's completely depending on on the studio and how how they work. Yes. Yeah. No, fair enough. And it's good to hear. I always wonder how other people collaborate. I'm always looking for tips to, you know, how to speed everything up because I I'm, I don't like it when everything slows down for no reason. Mm-hmm. I'm very frustrated. Um, so Andrea asks another question. Um, do you have any ambitions to open or start your own studio in the near future? Yes. <laughs> Probably. Um, yeah, it was also quite quite fresh, fresh uh, idea. And maybe I don't know yet when uh, I could do it. Maybe, yeah, or like starting very small, not to interfere with what I do now, for example, because like, mm. oh my God, it's very, uh, you know, demanding uh, project. Like I put a lot of my energy uh, during the week, so I couldn't do anything too crazy uh, at the moment, you know, like going back like going yeah. away uh from it but yeah. but i did yeah there is there is a, a idea of creating like well or at least starting uh, a tiny tiny uh studio because because i have many uh commissions requests like uh just just work uh yeah. you know from many people to do but i cannot I, I just cannot do them myself because i don't have enough time uh, so, so yeah, I thought like maybe I could one day just, you know, uh, co- combine the commissions that, that I get with people who want to do them, but for example, under my direction, 
uh, yes. so for example, maybe people who cannot yet get uh, the co commissions, but they are self, because maybe they're still, uh, you know, uh, maybe they still need to work on their skill a little bit. So, so I felt yeah. like I could, you know, guide them in a way that, yeah. you know, we would be a great actually fight. work uh, together, you know, uh, on yeah. commissions and then also fulfilling, uh, you know, uh, the work that people would like me to do. So, but not, you know, not working it on it uh, only by myself. So that's yeah. that's an idea. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> maybe maybe it can work. Maybe Sounds not. Good to uh, me. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it's, it's honestly yeah, so good. I mean, I think you'd be a great coach. You've given us so many tips and shortcuts and things that we really appreciate today. Um, I definitely have written down a couple of these and I know that Tim's put them in the chat and of course everyone can watch this on YouTube afterwards if you want to go back to the shortcuts that Iga shared at the beginning um, and actually whilst we're, whilst we're chatting about this let's give you the schedule for the week as of course we, we're Monday happy Monday today of course and we've got some more streams coming up for you this week um, so make sure you're joining in at the same time on Wednesday for our destination imagination content creation session um, with Joe Allen and Josh Peters so that'll be really good to tune into on Wednesday. And then on Friday, we have the, the final off Academy session with our very own Natalie. And we have uh, Lisa from Studio Dunbar. So jam-packed week for you to, to join us again on, on Wednesday and Friday after, you know, all of the inspiration that we've given you on Monday to start you off. Um, Iga, this is so good. Honestly, I'm really mind blown about your work. I'm, I'm so impressed. Um, so honestly, I mean, it's so good. And, I, and also it's the first... Uh, time for me and maybe a lot of our community as well that have actually seen how this is you know done behind the scenes in these game creations and making these concepts and making them come to life right and so I'm definitely really impressed thank you so it. much thank you I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm super happy like it no, no, honestly, it's so good. And you've, um, I mean, we've been chatting away. I've been very distracting, asking you a million questions. And you've been, <laughs> almost finished the drawing here already. No, well. <laughs> I know. I did. It's not even like a, uh, nah, not, not, not finished at all. But, uh, but it, I mean, it, you could, it's so good already, though. I mean, oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. And you've but given yeah, us yeah. some really great tips, you know, um, really great to get started. The books have been really great, as well as the shortcuts. And just, as I said, you know, getting inspiration and it's always good to do what you love, to, to really get stuck into what you enjoy doing so that you're hired to do that again, right? And over and over. So, I definitely. Well, I'm following you on Instagram now, so I'm definitely gonna keep watching. It's been really inspiring today. Uh, Julia says, um, thank you so much for the stream. Very inspiring. And um, I'm, I'm Angus, glad to hear that. Angus says, uh, happy, oh, happy Maddie Mondays are great. Great content today. Angus, I agree. Ego is awesome, isn't she? Absolutely. Mm. Amazing. Well, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, we are, I think we've got three minutes. If oh, okay. I could probably get one more question in, if yes. anybody has a question, uh, if anyone wanted to go in with that today. And, um, and we'll keep watching, right? I think you're on Behance. Okay. Yo, well, actually, I created the big hands only only when you contacted uh, me. So there's really nothing. <laughs> I mean, I just put maybe two projects and did the background uh, uh -huh. image, but but uh, there's not much work uh, in there. So I think for 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 more, yeah, I think I'm more like on Narcision or or or, or Instagram. Yeah, uh, that's the best place to find. I need you. to I need to upload more on big hands. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's all good. And I, yeah, I'm loving your, your work on Instagram. And you've actually got two accounts on Instagram, haven't you? You've got one with your nickname. Is it nickname? I, yeah, I have more. <laughs> yeah, so that's... Um, Exonart is my main art account. Uh, but actually, I have also personal, uh, which is hi, uh, dot Ixon, where, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's more my personal. Uh, but <laughs> I have a third one, like I'm yeah, queen of many Instagram accounts, I would say, because uh, I also created one for traditional art only, because I felt like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know if people follow me for digital, or I, I know that may, there are many different um, uh, preferences, you know, so some people only want to see my digital stuff. So that's why I created the other one for traditional, which is which is completely, you know, a bit different vibe. Uh, so so that's that's why I keep them separate. Mm. 
because I can and also like have it like all together uh, shown. Uh, it's nicely. good to separate it there because it's really clear then, isn't it? And then, um, and do you, most of your commissions come from Instagram? Would you say? Mm, there are some, but I. I don't think they are coming only from Instagram. I think from Twitter there was a lot. Uh, it's also hard to say because I I just get emails, so they can come from many different uh, you know sources. Uh, yeah. So if people go um, to like from Instagram or Twitter or art session, they just contact me through email. I cannot really uh, tell, but I think yeah. uh, in general being out there on many uh, you know social media platforms just just gives you more you know exposure and and I think it's it's good to not only be limited to one for example I completely agree um, well Iga, it's been a dream having you on today your work is amazing that everybody in the stream agrees you know thumbs up they say thanks so much great stream definitely come back please do join us again at Adobe Live with thank you. you yeah yeah if 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 you invite me again I'm I'm, I'm completely up yeah Oh, it'll be lovely. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining. As I mentioned, we've got our next stream on Wednesday with Joe and Josh. So, so don't forget to, to join us on Wednesday. Have a great week, everybody. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye, everyone. Yay, thank you so much. Bye.
Thank you.